boy i have a good video for you today welcome back to a new video here on the channel today we've got another mod spotlight and this mod spotlight is a very good mod spotlight i'm going to be looking at the mod size variation created by c4 k4 chunky baby 6010 yes this mod brings size variations to each creature which is insane why am i super excited about this because not only does it already have 95 percent of the creatures working on any map it also changes the stats of creatures depending on their size which we'll talk about momentarily first of all we need to find some size different creatures we are back and i have curated some specimens of different size creatures to show you this mod in effect now it is insane i'm gonna kill that barry bro before it comes over as cool as you look i don't trust your barry so there's actually a stat difference between creatures now you can grab creatures from a size of 0.85 to 1.15 there's a 30 point difference between the two creatures right so you can have the smallest from the smallest and the largest there's 30 points so as you can see right here we've got a dodo which is very small and a very big dodo both of these are size variants now there's no way to actually tell what size you've got in the 30 point uh, the way that i've been doing it when i've been searching i've been going up and as you can see primal buff size change four so that is a size four dodo and this is a size 29 dodo nearly max size uh, where does normal sit in between this let's find out for scale this is a normal size dodo so it must be that the size is so it must be that 0 0.30 is the size for the dodo because if we do actually look at this guy it doesn't give you anything for the size as you, when you look at ones that actually do have size you have the primal buff change which is 29 and that one's two but there is a big difference between the small one to the large this is another good case with the dire wolf again there's no way to tell but if you go up to dire wolves this is a normal one this is a, a small one so that's the smallest one that's a size one and this one's a size 19 so just look at the difference between those for some reason i feel like size 19 is bigger than the standards maybe i've got that wrong maybe size 15 is the standard size and that dodo is just freakishly big what'd you say would you say that's the difference between size 15 and size 19 so i think that regulars a size which makes sense a size 15 so it's 0 0.85 that's the smallest size one which is general size will be size 15 in the charts and then zero, size 1.15 will be up to 30 so for some reason this dodo is frequently large and it shouldn't be <laughs> um as you say that it does look smaller when you look at it side by side weird all right never mind so what does this mean well, the higher the size of the creature depends on what stats it has. So if you have a larger creature, then you're gonna have you're gonna be able to carry more than a vanilla creature. It's gonna have more health, which means it can take more damage, but it will be slower. So there's no real way to show this because these are all saying movement speed of 130. But uh is there a way that we can test that? Does this feel much slower? That is uh direwolf small one. I can't say I feel much difference, but there should be a size there should be a decrease or an increase depending on what size they are. And that stat should be 15% of the value. The stat could increase up to 15% of the value. So if you had a if you had a 1.15 direwolf, which is the max direwolf, then it would be a 15% increase in stats. So it should have 15% more weight and HP, but it should also lose 15% speed. If you had a 1.10 size creature which is uh, five points lower, then you should have 10% more weight and HP, but 10% less speed. And it should work the other way that you get more speed the smaller the creature gets. You do get a stat change depending on the creature size as well, which adds variation to the game and it adds a little bit more element of difficulty. But the only issue is, like I said, there's no way for you to figure out what size the creature is. You just gotta look at it and be like, yeah, that looks like a big direwolf. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Like I said, this mod works with 90% of the creatures. Here's a little size difference here. There are some stegos. Now, uh, obviously, the small ones, that is a size 2. That is a size 3. Not much difference between those. That's a size 21. And that is a regular, which would be a size 15. So there we go. Those are the stegos. These are the rexes. I spent much longer than I like to admit finding rexes and trying to find a small rex. So right here is a small rex. It's a size 5 rex. This beefy boy is a size 28. So from size 5 to size 28, nearly the bottom to nearly the max. This guy's a 25. A little bit smaller than 28, but not noticeable. 21, definitely noticeable between those two. And this is 15, which should be a regular size Rex. There we go. Rex, the Rexes are definitely my favorite to look at. Diplos, I thought would be a good one to show off. And there's all the Diplos. And as you can see, 
the small guy right here. If we look at this one, this is a size 2 and Diplo. This one's a size 30, max size. This one's a size 31. I don't understand how that works. Don't ask me. That throws all my theory out. A size 25. I'd have no clue why that's a size 31. But maybe that's max size. I couldn't tell you. Then we got the Brontos. Look at these guys. There's definitely a size difference. When Chuan chase these down in the field, it's hard to tell. It's only when they're next to each other that you notice. So that's a size 12 Bronto to the left. Definitely the smallest one there. This is a regular Bronto. And this one is a size 29 Bronto. So nearly max size. So you should be getting a... If my maths is right, you should be getting like a 14% increase in weight and health. But also a 14% decrease in speed. Which you don't want on a Bronto. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would you want this mod? Honestly, it will add variety to your game. You'll be able to find a more difficult... It's a little bit more difficult. Obviously, the smaller creatures that you get, the less stats they'll have. So you also have to get it, take into consideration that if you want the higher level creatures, the highest... If you want the highest sized creatures, you've got to get it in a good level and you will have that extra HP buff, the extra weight buff, but it will be slower. So it adds a little bit of element to it. And it also makes it look a bit more realistic because you're not just getting the same size creatures. You're actually getting different size creatures. Like this right here, which is the smallest Rex next to the biggest Rex. There's definitely a huge size difference between these creatures, which I really like. Anyway, that is the mod spotlight. I'll go check out in Steam. A link will be down below. And if you did enjoy the video, mention the like button. And subscribe to Goofy Bean for more great videos. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, bye.